Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my fifth update for my Lip Project Pan for 2022. I'm joined here by my little sidekick, so hopefully, I think he's probably gonna go for a little bit of a nap, I'm not sure, but anyway, this video, what I'm doing in this project pan is I have a project pan of items that I am trying to finish up. So I have specific categories like a lip balm, a lip gloss, a lipstick. And then I'm also doing a roulette portion where I am picking, I'm picking some products and I'm also doing a roulette to like pick some products for me uh, in the month and I'm trying out different products each month and the whole purpose of that is to go through my whole collection as well as try and pan some items just so I can again I felt like in previous years when I was panning lip products that I was ignoring the rest of my lip collection so that's why I'm doing it this way so how I'll do this video is I'll go through the panning part first I'll then talk about last month's picks and then we will talk about the new picks coming up. So the items I'm panning, the lip balm that I'm working on is this Nivea Hydrocare lip balm. I was able to draw a new line on the lid, so I'm pretty excited about that. I was kind of hoping that I could finish this out by the next update. I think, I think that's going to be tough. It's doable, but it's going to be tough. I don't want to say for sure that will happen, but I'm going to aim for it. Um, I'm going to try and get as close to finishing this as I can by the next update. It's a lot for me. Some people can just go through that in like two weeks. Not me. So yeah, the reason why I just I just want to finish it up. I really like this lip balm. Um, I will repurchase this in a heartbeat. Uh, I just I feel I'm 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 done. I'm over you. I want I I know I have other lip balms that I want to use. So that's why I just want to kind of move this one on out and start working on a new one. So last month this was 11.19 grams. It's now 10.73 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.46 grams. The lip mask that I'm working on is this Bite Agave lip mask. And this is going, um, it's hard to tell like when I look at it if I'm making progress, but the weight is showing that I'm making progress. So last month this was 13, or sorry, 12.31 grams. It's now 11.28 grams. That's a difference of 1.03 grams. In total so far this year, I've used 4.72 grams, so almost five grams. There is apparently 15, yes, 15 grams of product in this, but it wasn't full when I started it. I'd say it was pretty close to it though. So, I mean, now that I'm looking at that number, I'm like, will I finish this by the end of the year? I don't know. I thought I thought I would, but now I'm, I'm doubting. I'm doubting myself a little bit. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell. I, I hope so. I hope I can finish this by the end of the year. Um, that That is the goal for this item. I do have another one that's like a deluxe size. So, um, and yeah, I'm not gonna like, I know Bite is, is going. Uh, I'm not intending to buy a backup of that because I don't really like it. It's okay, but I don't love it. The lipstick I'm working on is another Bite product. I just realized that. Um, it's a mini. It is the lipstick in Honeycomb. I could maybe have drawn another line on the lid, but it would have been real close. <laughs> um, I am using this. I can tell that it is getting a bit smaller, um, but I do feel like I really like to have the angle. So the top I don't use as much as like the middle, if that makes sense. Um, and I did talk about this in my last update that I am enjoying using this because I feel like it works well in combination with a lot of other products. So it is, it is working well. The only downside is it is a matte lipstick. So it's not one that like with a sheer like more satiny type li lipstick I can apply a little bit more if that makes sense whereas you can go overboard with this like you can put too much on and then it's like it's like your lips start sticking together it's too thick um, so I kind of have to be careful like to not over apply it if that makes sense um, again bites going away I don't even know if this shade exists like I, I know they redid all of their formula stuff I, I feel like I don't want to sound mean but I feel like bite shot themselves in the foot um, they decided to like redo all their lipsticks, but they took forever to like bring out new versions. And then they just seemed to like diversify into a whole bunch of different things, like with the foundations and the blushes that really didn't seem to, <laughs> they kind of, I think had like some people liked them, but they weren't really hit. So it was like, they almost like spread themselves too thin and they lost their like core focus. Had they just like stuck with their lipsticks? And that was great that they were going to reformulate, but they should have, I felt like they put the cart before the horse, like reformulated, done all that behind the scenes and then released it instead of being like, we're reformulating, but we're going to get rid of all the old stuff and then slowly bring out new stuff. And it was like, 
I don't know. There was like a huge gap there in terms of product. Anyway, that's just my two cents on my impressions of why Byte kind of like, I don't know, had issues. Anyway, who knows? I don't know. I haven't like watched anybody others. I know that some people have had some videos on it. I haven't done any research on what actually has happened with Byte and what they've decided to do. I think their lip labs are, they're going to keep their lip labs open or some of them open. I kind of hope they do. There is one here in Toronto that I've never gone to and I've always wanted to go to. So maybe I should do that sooner rather than later. Anyway, weights on this product. It was 12, or sorry, it was eight grams. It's now 7.97 grams. That's gems of 0.03 grams. The lip oil I'm working on is this Merit Lip Oil. It's in the shade O Natural. Um, I, I was drawing lines on the side. I cannot see through this at all. I have no idea where the product is. This is a lie. <laughs> um, I should just maybe pull that off. I keep hoping maybe it'll like adjust and I will like start seeing maybe where it's settling. I have no clue where it's settling. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. Um, but I enjoy this product. I really, I do really, really like this. I would repurchase this for sure. It's a really nice color. I'm getting used to the color now. I kind of felt like it was a little orangey um, when I first got it. I still would prefer if it was a bit more neutral um, and less warm tone, but overall I do really enjoy the color as well. So last month this was 29 grams, it's now 28.54 grams, so that's a difference of 0 0.46 grams. And the lip gloss that I'm working on is this Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Snow Pink, and I've been able to draw a new line on this guy as well, um, as well as I guess the lip balm, that's the only other thing that I've been able to draw a new line on. Um, and yeah, I'm moving through this like pretty darn quickly. I actually, again, I talked about this when I Think about all the different colors that I've had of this product. This one is a little light for my liking. Um, I just bought Sandstorm and I think I like that shade a little bit better. Um, but this again is kind of growing on me. I feel like I'm getting used to wearing it sort of on its own. Again, it's a really good pairing item. Um, if I'm feeling like any of my lipsticks are a little too bright or a little too deep, this is perfect to throw on top. It just sort of neutralizes things uh, for me. So yeah, I'm really enjoying, I, I like this formula. I, again, would repurchase this. I have two remaining. I've panned one of them um, and I still have a mauve shade one. I don't know the name of it. Supernatural, I wanna say, mm, maybe. And the other one is called Sandstorm. So yeah, last update, this was 29 grams. It's now 28.62 grams. So that's the difference of 0 0.38 grams. So I'm kind of using the lip balm and the lip gloss fairly closely in terms of product amount, but they're different consistencies. So it's really hard to tell if I'm using one actually a lot more than the other, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw up the family photo time so we can see the visual change. It's not gonna look a whole lot different, I don't think. Well, a couple of things will, but I am kind of disappointed now that I realize that the Merit product, <laughs> you can't see any difference. But I think obviously the, the lip gloss will show a big difference and I'm hoping the lipstick will show a bit of a difference as well. So now let's quickly recap the products that I was using last month. So we're gonna talk about the lip glosses. So the first lip gloss was the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in uh, Fussy. I like this. I, I feel like the formula is a little thick. I'd prefer it was a little thinner, but I do really like this lip gloss. I actually am tracking the weights on all these items um, that I use just to see if I used, how much I used of them. This one I actually, I did forget to write the weights down right after my last video and I used this for a couple days at the very beginning and then I realized, oh crap, I haven't done the weights of these. So I didn't, I missed some weight changes. So I think the weight of this would be a little bit more different had I done that because I used it sort of early on in the, since the last update. So this was uh, 35.99 grams. It's now 35.97 grams. So I did use 0.02 grams of it, but yeah, I'd like this. Again, I think I like like the Revlon product a bit better. I don't know if I would go out of my way to purchase any more of these. I have this one and I have the regular one and I think that's fine for me. Um, maybe a mini kit at some point, but I don't love this formula. I, like I know some people really love this formula. Um, it's a little, it's a little thick for my preference. The other lip gloss I was using was the Ofra lip gloss in the shade Millie from the Samantha March uh, first collab. It's fine. Um, again, it was a nice shade to use to like mix with some deeper lip colors. If I was using a deeper lip color and I wanted to play like play up the color or change up the color, uh, but on its own, like it, it does not look good on its own. And I really don't care for the formula. <laughs> um, I was like, eh, formula, I can take it or leave it. Um, and I did note this in my last video like because when I was looking at these two I'm like they look drastically different in the amount of product but again sometimes packaging can be deceiving yeah no this is this is like not 
not a lot of product. It's not really good value for your money. And there was no weight difference on that one. Most of them, there was no weight difference. I'll only mention the ones that do have weight differences. Another product that um, kind of grew on me, I kind of started getting used to it, was the Burt's Bees uh, Glow Gloss. This is uh, in Chai Time. This came in my, I did a bloom order, so the drink mixes. I do have a video on that. And I find with this one, again, I have to make sure my lips are smooth and exfoliated because if there is any dryness or texture this will cling to it and it clings like with a white base and it looks real bad but I like the way this product feels and if my lips are exfoliated and smooth it looks really nice too like it's a really enjoyable product to use but I just have to be careful it's not one that I could just throw in my purse and just put on without looking without seeing what I'm doing if that makes sense which is kind of unfortunate because it has a feel like it should be like that but it's not quite um I did go in store in Sephora a week or so ago now I can't remember exactly when to see I wanted to see the texture of this compared to the Tarte like juicy things and I feel like they're fairly similar I feel like it's actually a bit more similar to the Makeup by Mario one I think I swatched that as well um so it's a similar type texture. This is a bit maybe more balmy like and maybe less glossy like less like yeah gloss like I guess if that makes sense but it's a fairly similar concept um, I think. I felt like it anyway. Um, the the Tarte one seemed yeah to be a bit more gloss like than this is a bit more balm like but a similar concept with that like soft gloss balm type feel. I feel like I'm saying gloss and um, a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, there was a weight change on this one. It was 10.53 grams. It's now 10.49 grams. That's the difference of 0 0.04 grams. This I only wore once because it just didn't, it's, the color is not working for me right now, um, but I do love this product. It is the Urban Decay Mega Matte in 714. Again, I don't know why Urban Decay decided to redo all their lipsticks again. I feel like they kind of hit the nail on the head with this like formula and this style like the bullet style I feel like they're updated ones I'm just like wah, wah, like the square packaging and everything I don't know these these are just really pleasing to me and I think what they should have done was maybe discontinue a few shades and release some new shades in this format like again there's I know there's like a matte form formula like the different formulas like some in the different formulas some new shades in the different formulas but the packaging I really think they should have kept the packaging the same. Maybe change the color, but yeah, this packaging to me is just, it's very aesthetically pleasing and they should have kept it, in my opinion. I really enjoyed this lipstick. This was kind of the, there's always a bit of a sleeper. I feel like actually there was a couple sleepers in this one that I was like, oh, that was surprising. Um, this is a lipstick I just sort of, a, not avoid, but I ignore. I kind of forget about it. It gets lost in my collection. I don't love the shape of it, um, but it is kind of a balmy type lipstick. It's a bit sheer. What is it, by the way? It's the Rimmel. It's a keeper. Um, I think it's in the, what is the line called? The only one lipstick is the line. And this is the shade. It's a keeper. It's kind of a sheer like sheer balm type lipstick. It's got a lot of shine to it. I just love this. I could just throw it on. I wore it with some other lipsticks, like other products, um, lip liners and stuff. And yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. I was surprised there was actually no weight change on this because I did wear it quite a few times this past month. This one I didn't wear a whole lot. I'm not sure I love this shade on me. This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Parker. It's a little, it's kind of a little yellow based, I think. It's a little too yellow based for me. If it had a bit more pink in it, I think I would like it a bit more. I think it's okay. It's fine. Um, I don't dislike it, but it's not, I know Parker is like a, you know, fan favorite. Like tons of people talk about, like love the shade, talk about the shade. It's like favorites for lots of people. I wouldn't classify it a favorite for me personally. This is another lipstick that I've really enjoyed. And I talked about this last month. I had one of these in my last, uh, set. I had the shade Boca. This is in the shade Cocktail Kiss. I love these lipsticks. I really should buy, I really need to buy some MAC lipsticks. Um, but I mean the minis, like look how much product is in this mini. That's a ton of product. So yeah, I just, I love this formula. I liked this color. This color is kind of deep. I like the color Boca a little bit better for this time of year. This to me is more of a fall color, but yeah, I feel bad that I've, I've neglected the, this a little bit in my collection. I haven't really used it. So I want to make sure, you know, once I kind of do this sort of project once this project is over um that I sort of focus on some of these lipsticks that I've ignored um for whatever reason and just use them a bit more 
This lipstick I only wore a couple times, but I do like it. Um, I've worn it more in the past. It's not one that I have ignored. It's one that I do purposely seek out because it's a bit different in my collection. So it's really, really dark. I need to change the lighting. Nah, it's still, yeah, it's a little bit better. I mean, this looks really, really dark in the tube. It's not this dark when you put it on. It's got a bit of sheerness to it. I wouldn't say it's 100% matte either. It is the Essence Matte 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 Formula, which doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, I already know I like this. And again, like I said, I have, I use this one quite a bit, but I just didn't this past month use it. Again, maybe seasonally, it just wasn't a good fit. So I do have a declutter this month. Um, I am gonna declutter this. I talked about this, that I was like, eh, I don't really have any shades like it. I didn't even wanna wear this. Like I really, I had no desire to wear this. I was like, I don't really like the way this product feels. I don't really like the way it smells. <laughs> um, I just, yeah, I don't like it. And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this color. It's pretty, it, like it looks a bit more muted in the tube, but again, if you look at, if you go to my last video, I have swatches of all these. It's a lot brighter on me than what it looks like in the tube. And I don't think it looks flattering on me. I don't really like it. So you know what? No love lost. This is getting decluttered. And I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. And I know if you've been watching my channel for a while that you know that I'm not a great declutterer. I have a hard time letting things go. I'm totally okay saying goodbye to that now. I think I needed to do this though. I've talked about this, like doing these rounds of going through my makeup and actually using stuff and focusing on it. And it's like, you know, I gave it its chance. I gave it its chance and it's not good enough. It's going. Well, and that's staying, but it's gonna get decluttered at some point soon-ish. I like it, but I can tell it's getting old. Um, this is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Liquid Lipstick. They're, these are like the OG liquid lipsticks. I love this product. Um, it stays on. It's so hard to get off. The only thing that will get this off is something oily. So I wore this the other day and I had like pasta that had like oil, like in this, like it was an oily sauce. Um, and yeah, it, it took it, it took most of it off, but that's like the only way you can get this off. Um, I feel like for the most part throughout the day, it just does not budge. It's pretty sticky though. Like it's, it doesn't feel great, um, but it's not gonna move. Uh, I, I like this product. Again, it's a bit of a thinner formula, so I like that. Um, yeah, I miss having these. I really do think I wanna go and, and try some, some of these again. I, I bet they're probably better too. Like this one's really, really old. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably why I'll end up um, retiring this. I don't want to say decluttering, but it, like I've used a lot of this product. I've had it for a long time, um, but I, I felt like it's starting to get a bit, a bit tacky in the tube and it wasn't like that when I first bought it. This one did have a weight change, but just 0 0.01 grams, so pretty small. The other sort of sleeper product for me that was kind of a surprise was this lip liner. This is the Color Workshop, so that generic drugstore brand. And it's sort of in this like bright pink. It's hard to see on the camera because I feel like it never picks this sort of shade up properly, but it's like a fuchsia pink. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed playing with this with other lip products, like, you know, pairing it with <clears throat> this lip gloss. Um, the thing that I really liked pairing this with, and I've picked another lip liner to see if it'll do the same thing, but if not, I might pull this back out again, was the lipstick that I have in my pan of Green Gables. I've talked about it, I don't really like wearing it um, because it's sort of like this orangey, pinky orange, but the orange is just, it's not going with like my hair and I feel like it's clashing, but if I put this underneath, it makes it more of like a fuchsia pink, a bright pink, and I love the way the color turns out. I just feel like it looks really flattering. Um, and this has like a bit of a staining effect, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And I like it. Um, I like that it sort of, you know, gives my lips a bit of a pink. I have like very pale lips, like there's not a whole lot of color. So it's nice that it gets a, gives me a bit of pigment that sort of lasts. And then like I said, I can layer on other lipsticks. So like even like this lipstick, I would layer over top this and I love the way that looked. So yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. And I mean, this one was fine too. I like this lip liner. I didn't use it as much as this one. Um, they actually are, are fairly close in shade, which I didn't really realize. This one, it, cause this one is a bit pink. This is the NYX lip, lip liner in plush red it, it says it's red but it's a bit more pink and in my mind because the name says red i always think it's going to be a bit more red and then i apply it i'm like yeah no that's more pink um, it's a pinky red um yeah i didn't use this one as much just because i liked the brightness of this like i was just i was feeling it um but yeah like i like this as well i just wasn't using it as much i did have some weight change on this one too it was 3.56 grams it's now 3.54 grams that's a difference of 0 0.02 grams Okay, now let's get into the new picks. So I do this sort of in, I pick some stuff and then I roulette some stuff. So I pick my stuff first, then I roulette some things. So let's talk about the lip glosses. So the first lip gloss is the one I picked and it is the, actually I'm gonna move over. Let's move over so we can throw some pictures up. Um, is the Jouer lip gloss. This 
it's called, I think, the High Pigment Lip Gloss, and it is a high pigment lip gloss. It doesn't have a lot of sheerness at all to it. It's in the shade Sunset. This one I have mixed feelings about. I've talked about this before, that I'm not sure I love this color on me. Um, I'm going to play with it with one of the lip liners uh, to see if maybe with the lip liner I like it a bit better. I don't want to put this in the chopping block because I do like the product. It's just the shade just feels off, and I feel like the shade is something that, that I can play with. Um, with mixing it with other products, if that makes sense. The lip gloss that the Roulette picked out was the Marc Jacobs, um, I forget the full name of this, the Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick in Sugar Sugar. It's a really interesting like package. It's like kind of like, I guess this is what the Tarte Juicy Balms are like, or like the Makeup by Mario things. This shade though is not great on me. I also am wondering if this shade has glitter in it because when I was trying to wipe it off my hand with the wipe, I was like, I think there's glitter on my hand and the Jouer thing does not have glitter in it whatsoever. So it's like, oh, I think this has some glitter in it. Um, I don't love this color on its own for me. Again, it's a shade thing. Um, and again, it has the issue of if you have any dryness on your lips, it will stick to it and look white against those like dry cracks. <laughs> I don't think it's very flattering. Again, this is a product that I sort of bought because I was like, it was hyped up and the name Sugar Sugar, I've heard and I was like, I know people really like this, so I want to try it. I don't, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, and again, it's not something, again, if I wear it, I just make sure I wear it over like a lip liner or something because it's too pale on its own for me. The lip tint that I picked was the NARS uh, Laguna afterglow lip balm i did i think have yeah i had the other nars afterglow lip balm and orgasm in a previous month uh, i love this product but i shouldn't say love because i love a lot of products i don't love love this is a love like if we have like a like and a love i think this is in the middle um i, I haven't used it enough to say i love it if that makes sense but i do really like it it's very sheer though um i thought there'd be a little bit more pigment to this it's very very sheer but yeah, i'm really looking forward to playing with this over the next month the next category is what I call lippies. So it's like lipsticks, liquefied lipsticks, crayon, lip crayons, those kinds of things. The first thing I picked was this ColourPop lipstick in Lippy Stick in Songbird. I haven't really used this a whole lot at all, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and yeah, I just want to play with it. It's a very bright pink. Um, and yeah, it's just one that I want to play with. I'm not familiar with it. I don't know how much I like it or dislike it. It's very intensely pigmented. I noticed that when I was doing the lip swatch. I was like, wow, this has a lot of pigment to it. It's very colorful. The next lip product I picked is kind of like on the opposite. It's not very pigmented at all. This is an oil of Olay. I don't, I don't know who I got this from. If I got this from my friend or if I got this from my mom, I got this from somebody because I don't know where you get oil of Olay if it even has makeup anymore. This is fairly old, <laughs> um, but I like it. So this is in the shade Bronze Goddess and it's more like a topper. It's, it's almost like a lip gloss in a lipstick. It's very smooth and moisturizing feeling. It's not very thick though, it's super, super thin. And again, it's sheer. It's more like, to me, a lip topper. So I'm excited to play with this because I haven't really used it a whole lot, um, but I do really like the color of this one. I have one other one in a shade called Silver Slipper, I think, which is like a silver color, it's cool tone. I don't know if I like that one as much. I mean, the concept sounds interesting, but I don't know if I really like it, but I haven't really played with these. Like again, there's something that I just sort of ignore in my collection and I need to play with a little bit more. So I'm gonna play with this a bit more this month and see how I feel about it and how, how to work it, how to use it. Cause it's not something I would use on its own, if that makes sense. Maybe I should, maybe I should just try using it on its own and see what I like, see if I like it like that. I feel like my hair is a hot mess. I tried to curl it and it just fell out and I needed to dye it. And so things just look, it just looks horrible. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Anyway, the third lip product that I picked is what's, what I have listed in my list as a liquefied lipstick. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in 312 Nude Star. Does anybody know, do these still exist? I haven't even looked to see if this still exists. I love this product. I love it. Not mask friendly at all. Didn't really use it over the past couple of years because of that reason, um, but I love it. I love the way this feels. I love the color of this. It's kind of sheer, um, like it's buildable. Like it's not super thick. Um, I even like the smell of it, I think. I'm trying to remember if this has a smell. Yeah, it even smells good. <laughs> like, I really like this product. I'm curious to know if it still exists. And I've, I've never looked to see if I would want any other shades of this. I feel like this is going to last forever. I thought about putting this in a pan, panning project, but I think this would last me like forever. It'd be really hard to pan. 
And then the two, the next two lip products are what the roulette picked. So the first one that it picked is this Huda Beauty um, matte. I think they call this like power matte lipstick in the shade Interview. Love this product. Love this shade. I think it's really good. I think I've seen this pop up on people's videos in like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I would recommend this if you come across it. Uh, if you like a matte lipstick, it's very, it's not drying at all. It's very smooth. It almost feels powdery. Like it's almost like baby powder feeling, um, which feels really interesting. I like the way this uh, shade looks. It's super comfortable. Love this packaging. It's that magnet. Oh, so good. So yeah, really happy that this came out. Again, to me it's maybe a bit more of a fall type shade or fall type product for me, but I don't mind. I, I definitely think I can uh, make this work because it's again, that's not too fall-ish, if that makes sense. I, I'm slightly disappointed that the next product was pulled by the Roulette because I feel like they're kind of similar. Um, this is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Touch of Spice. They are different in shade. Um, mentally, sometimes I think they're the same, but they're not. So the interview one's definitely more brown-based. Why don't I do a swatch with the two beside each other? So this one is Touch of Spice. So there's Touch of Spice. It's a bit more mauve -y. I feel like the shade name of that doesn't make sense to me. Um, I would think if it was more warmer, it would make more sense. So the shade on top is Interview. So you can see Interview is a bit more brown and Touch of Spice. So if you have one or the other, maybe that helps you decide if you, you want the other one. Like, they're not the same. Um, and I feel like... I was realizing, like, you know, maybe it's not a bad thing that I've got both of these because I'd be interesting to kind of test the formulas against each other. I mean, I just did the quick swatches. Um, this one definitely feels a bit more creamy and this has a bit more of a powdery feel. Um, but it'll be interesting to kind of try the two against each other just to see how formula wears and stuff. I was like, you know what, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe there's a reason <laughs> that these kind of came up together. Um, however, I did make a diff change. So for my liquid lipsticks, I actually did have one picked and I actually changed it after the roulettes. That's the first time I've ever done that so far this year um, because I, I picked an item and then the roulette picked almost the same item. So the item that I picked after <laughs> the roulette was um, the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Monaco. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is a bit of a uh, metallic formula, formula, but I feel like it's not too metallic-y. It's still wearable. I actually really like their liquid lipstick formula. I think it's nice and thin and it applies easily. It doesn't feel too dry, doesn't feel too sticky. It's comfortable for a liquid lipstick. Um, yeah, I really like their liquid lipstick formula much better than that lip, the lip gloss formula. Um, so yeah, this is the liquid lipstick that I picked. And then the roulette picked um, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Lover. I had originally picked um, a different shade in this, so I was gonna have had two Maybelline ones. I'm like, no, let's, let's save that one for another month um, and pick the Ofra one. So this is the one that the roulette picked. This is the, again, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Lover. Love this liquid lipstick formula. This is probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula over even over the Ofra one. I would say this is probably my favorite. It is a bit sticky um, compared to the Ofra one or compared to like, I have Jeffree Star. I don't have a lot of liquid lipsticks. It's not something I wear often. Um, but I feel like it's much, it's super long lasting. It's, it's really hard to get off. Um, and yeah, I feel like it's just thin enough though that it's not too, like I can't, I don't have big lips. So I find sometimes some, uh, what do you call it? Like the wand picks up too much product. I feel like this one's not too bad. I do wipe off a little bit when I apply it, um, but I feel like it doesn't over apply product. Uh, I like the shape of this wand. Again, really like the smell of this product. It smells good. Um, yeah, I have three shades in this uh, and I would buy more for sure because I, if I could only ever have one liquid lipstick, in all the shades, it would be this line. Uh, it's it's my favorite uh, liquid lipstick line. Again, it is a bit sticky compared to some others, but I feel like it has great longevity. And again, if you don't go too thick with it, like again, it's pretty thin, just don't over apply it and it will, it will last all day. And then my last category is lip liners. So I pick the lip liners myself. I do that after I pick all the lipsticks and after I do the roulette to sort of pair the lip liners with what I've got and also balance my lip liners because I have some that are like bright and some that are nude. So I don't want to pick two nudes every month or two super bright ones every month. I'm trying to balance them out. So the first one I picked, sorry, the first one I picked was this one. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Button. The thing that annoys me about this one is the bottom color is not at all <laughs> what the shade is like. Um, and I think this is one that online I think doesn't look the same as what it does in person. I also hate that the lid is super loose. Um, it falls off all the time. Um, 
I like this shade because it's sort of an in-between shade for me for all the browns. I've got like grunge, I've got field day, I've got one other one, and I feel like out of all the brownie nudes, this one's like a great mid-tone one. It's not too dark, not too light, it's just a great mid-tone one. I really enjoy this color. And then the other lip liner I picked was inspired by my last month, um, how I enjoyed the other color so much. This is the Color Workshop. This is another one from that. It was from the same kit. I have three of them. I think I, I don't know if there were three or four in the kit and I either kept all three or only got rid of one. So, I mean, I really enjoy these lip liners from this kit. Uh, they're, the only thing is they are the core, like you can, see, maybe you can see it. The core is pretty tiny, like the actual, color part of the product. It's pretty small. Um, so you do have to sharpen it a whole lot. Um, I just sharpened this before I applied it um, for the swatch and it's already like needs to be sharpened again. But yeah, I'm excited to play with this one because I enjoyed that other pink so much. Anyway, I think this guy is trying to tell me something. So we're going to wrap it up at that. Um, I'm really enjoying this project. I really like, like I said, the balance between trying to pan some items as well as rouletting the items, like going through my whole collection. It's really working well for me. I probably will do something very similar next year, maybe a little bit different, but fairly similar. So yeah, if you like this video, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Yeah. Is it dinner time? Yeah? <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so sweet.